Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the day 47 of our 100 days SQL challenge. Today we are going to solve one of the SQL questions asked in Flipkart Data Analyst interview. This is a very very interesting question. So let's go ahead and see the problem statement. Then we will see how to solve this problem using logical approach. So here is the problem statement. It says you are given a table which has two columns. One is called employee ID, one is called team ID. So this employee ID column is the primary key of this table. In this table you have different different employees and their team ID they belongs to. So this employee which you can see this employee 1 belongs to team 8. This employee belongs to team 8. So different different employee belongs to different different team. So it says write in SQL query to find the team size of each employees. So for each employee we need to return the team size. You see the expected output. We need the employee ID and their team size. As this employee 1 belongs to a team which is called 8 and that team has a 3 employee you can see that's the reason team size is showing as a 3. So this is what we need to get in the return using SQL. If you think you can solve this problem you can pause the video and share your approach in the comments and I'm going to share my logical step by step approach to solve this problem. So let's go to PG admin 4 where I have already created the table and inserted this records. So here you can see I have already created the table and inserted this records and we're going to solve this problem. You can get this data from the video descriptions. So let's go ahead and uh, see how we can solve this problem. So to solve this problem, we can use a sim very simple approach, which is going to be window functions. So what I can do, we can simply go ahead and say that we want to select the employee ID, which is going to be our first column. And second, what we want to select is that for this team, they belongs, what is the count? Okay. So what I will do is that I am going to use a count window function here. Okay. So here I'm saying count of this team ID. Okay. So I can say star or I can just say count of team ID. Now the thing is that if I say if I run this query, it is going to give an error. Okay, because I would need to use a group by then only I can get an aggregation functions against this employee ID. But that's not what we are looking for, right? What we are looking for is that we want to look for all these six employees. But along with it, we want to see the count of their kind of team IDs. Okay. So what we will do is that we are going to use our logic here, which is a part of window functions. And we're going to do a partition by here, partition by this team ID. So what we are doing here is that we are saying that get us the count of team ID partition by the team ID for each employee. We are doing a partition by their team ID. So first partition is going to be this as this employee belongs to 8 and this is their partitions so the count is going to be 3 same way the second employee belongs to 8 so the that belongs to first partition which is going to be 3 so the count is going to be 3 and this one 4 that employee belongs to a team which is called 7 that only has one record which is uh, this 4 itself so it is going to return kind of 1 so this is how we are going to get the team size okay for this 5 this belongs to third partitions which has only two records so we it's going to get two and it's also going to get two so we can just call it team size now we don't have to do any group by because this window function is going to do the job and we will be getting our results so if you see here this employee 4 belongs to a team size of one members this one two three they belongs to team size of three members this belongs to team size of two members so this is how we have solved the problem i can simply do a order by one and uh, I will have the same results what was expected okay you can see I have the same results now so this is how we have solved this problem so this is how we have solved this problem thank you so much for watching the video till the end if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel I will see you in the next video till then keep learning and stay consistent have a good day take care bye bye